welcome back to another vlog. Uh, you guys would have just seen my hike. Uh, I know that you guys were looking for some more lifestyle stuff, so that's what we're doing. So that was a hike. A friend of mine called me and she was like, I found this trail. It's only like a half an hour, easy peasy. It's just a walk. And we did it. And then yesterday I went on a hike in the mid morning with Molly, but we were like 10 minutes in, 10 minutes out because it was hot and I just really wanted her to get some of her energy out of her system. So we did that. And then I did a 45 minute run last night. I can't remember how far I went, three and a half miles maybe. Slow run, slow pace, not in a hurry here. So I just went live on YouTube and did the removal of these nails, which were acrylic. But now I wanted to go live on my Instagram and put them back on and put Gel X on. But the video, let's see, I'm just hanging on to you. Usually I have you on the ring light, but since we're doing more lifestyle, it means we're also doing more spur of the moment. So sometimes holding the camera is what's gonna work. So I just got through my like liter and a half of uh, iced coffee. It's probably not one of my greatest ideas. And I finished my lunch, which was, I actually ate the lunch I brought. I said on my live, I was like, I've been trying to convince myself um, that I really wanna go get sushi and I really did want sushi. But anyway, I ate the lunch I brought. Maybe I'll grab sushi on the way home. Sushi place here, I don't know what sushi is anywhere else because really, truly, I think this is the only place I buy it. But the sushi place here is cheap, like real cheap. So I really like going to get it there. But anyway, all that to say, let me put you down a little bit. There you go. You get kind of heavy. Um, so the live for removing my acrylic is literally called removing my acrylic nails right now. I may change the name, but it's processing the HD copy and it's been processing for, uh, I keep looking to the top of the screen cause I think the time is gonna be there cause the time is at the top of the rest of the screens in my life. It's been processing for at least half an hour. So yeah, that's why I don't go live on YouTube. Um, I don't think the processing takes near as long on Instagram. However, I don't wanna start an Instagram live until this is loaded. Because I feel like if I mix that up, it's going to be trouble. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And I made like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shorts. So that's what those little ones are. But the shorts, like one of them has 1,500 views, 37 views, 21 views. Like, what do you do to make these shorts work? Not sure, not sure. Actually not sure what you do to make the vlogs work either, to be honest. I'm just swinging it over here. YouTube is a beast. YouTube is such a beast. Sometimes you get a ton of views, other times you get like none. I mean, I have videos here that have like 60 views on them. And then I have videos with like thousands of views on them. I don't get it. I didn't even spend time on some of these thumbnails and you guys are loving them. Maybe that's the trick. I'm just sitting here being impatient, waiting for this. I don't know why it is taking so long. But like I said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go live on my, They need to make that incognito button a little more incognito because I keep hitting it going incognito. I don't even know what that means. Okay, is it ready? Is it YouTube studio? Is it ready? I keep asking you like you're supposed to know. Is it ready? My God, it's ready. Okay, seems to be on there. Okay, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> finish the nonsense and then I'm going to go live on Instagram as if you're seeing this and you're gonna be like oh I'll be right there no it would have already been and gone I'm rambling I had too much coffee okay I'll talk to you later whoops wrong side I'll talk to you later hey guys it's a new day so today we are going to be talking a little bit about 
how I edit my pictures. So I took some pictures of some nails, uh, took them with my, I can't remember what it is, my Rebel T3, T3i to be exact. It was second hand. Um, I do want to like, I don't know, a lot of people think that you need like certain gear or whatever to be able to film YouTube or to be able to even take really good nail pictures and you don't. Use your phone, buy second hand cameras. This was second hand. The one I'm filming on right now was an open box, like a from Best Buy, which is what I have here to choose from. You can get open box stuff, so it's like returns or like new returns sort of thing, um, demos, display models, stuff like that. So, and they still have warranty. This one had to go back for warranty, no questions asked. It was great. Took forever because it was like the beginning of the pandemic, but um, I mean, that has nothing to do with nothing. So it is worth buying secondhand if you, or use your phone. When I first started, Really off center. When I first started filming YouTube, I used my iPad. I would set my iPad on a vase, on a Kleenex box, on a Maritime Beauty box, on my client chair, and that's how I filmed. So you can start. I have a video that has 13,000 views. I know it's not huge. I get it, but it's my biggest video, and I filmed that with my iPad. So don't ever think that you need any kind of fancy nonsense in order to be able to do this. You completely do not. That was a tangent. Anyway, I took the nail pictures on this just with my ring light and this, and I have changed no settings on this. I have no idea how to actually use it to its full extent, I'm sure. Then I take the memory card out of that. That's where things get semi-complicated but not really. I take the memory card out of that, I put it in the camera that you're watching me on because it has Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, whatever. I hook that up to my iPad and I transfer the pictures onto my iPad. Once they are on my iPad, I go to, now I prefer Okay, first of all, I use PicMonkey and I do pay for the yearly subscription. I'm, I'm not using it to its extent, which is fine by me. I really enjoy PicMonkey for a amateur like me, it's perfect. So I go into PicMonkey and I edit the picture. So I'm just gonna, there we go. So I am going to upload them. Ugh, they're not there yet. Here you see, here's, here's the thing. Sometimes they take a bit to like be recognized on your camera roll. It's really weird. Um, but once they're recognized, I move them over into PicMonkey and then really the only things I do to them is blur out any um, cuticle, like picking hangnails, whatever, redness. Um, and I, I don't always try very hard to make sure there's no dust on the hands before I take the pictures because I get impatient. So sometimes I'll edit that out and I brighten it. I will every once in a while circle the actual picture and then blur the rest of the picture just so you kind of zone in on the nail art or the color or whatever it is. That's it. I brighten them up, literally brighten them up and that's it. So I might blur out the background. I might, sometimes I don't even do this. I might blur out the dust on the nail and I will blur out, usually I will blur out any hangnails or anything like that. That's it, that's all. And I think you'll find that the majority of the salon nail technicians, like the girls that are working every single day on clients, that's kind of what we're doing for editing. Now, of course, obviously there's pictures out there that are extremely edited and I think they're beautiful. I totally appreciate the editing. I appreciate the nail art. I appreciate the picture. It's difficult sometimes when the client brings you said picture and it's, that's a whole other can of worms. But, so my pictures are on my iPad when I go into my photos. It's a matter of sometimes when I'm uploading to PicMonkey, they just don't show up. It just takes a little bit, it's fine. After I get them uploaded, then yeah, I'm just gonna brighten them up 
and I will probably post them today. Sometimes I wait a day or two, like not purposely, but I just kind of forget. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. I have a little break right now, and there's a few things I'd like to do. I'd like to go to a local natural store, health food store. I don't know how to refer to this, but it's called Mother Nature's Market, and it is in my town, and it is one of, hands down, my favorite stores. I always spend way too much money when I go in there because she has the coolest thing. So I do want to go in there. I don't know if that's a today thing or if that's a tomorrow thing. I also want to go home and, um, what was it I wanted to do? Hang a set of wind chimes. So that'll probably happen later. Probably not going to go home from work to hang wind chimes, but I've driven further for less. So I will see you in the next clip and we'll see what I end up up to. I haven't even decided. I'm talking as if I have the entire afternoon off. Really, I have like minutes to do all these things that I'm planning, but you know, fly by the seat of our pants. That's what we do. Okay. See you later. Hey guys. Good morning. It is it's five to eight. <laughs> it's halfway through the day. Uh, I ran into a problem. So I got the new Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gels, which I am going to try to do its own video on or something. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, but you will get a YouTube preview of what these look like and my thoughts on them because I haven't used them yet. But I've run into an issue. So I want to leave my loose glitters here. They're almost starting to need another shelf. They're double stacked here, but we're going to stick with two shelves. Then I think what's going to have to happen is I'll lose a shelf of these and they're going to have to go up. And when they go up, the acrylic jars that are way up at the top, one of them, one row of them is going to have to go back in the drawer, which is fine. They were there to like take up space really, so to speak. But I think that's all going to have to go up. And then these will go in here or two of them. It's going to depend. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember if there's 21 plus the black and white or if there's 21 total. But they're bigger than what I thought. So I haven't opened the black yet. It is one of those situations where the foil is up to get off. So I can't wait to do all those. But I just brought them in. So I don't find they smell any, they do have an odor. I don't find they smell any different than some of the tack free stuff that I've used in the past. I feel like, hold on, because I know that smell really is a thing for you guys. No, they, oh God. They don't smell like the Ugly Duckling Arts. Here's what I was thinking. Do they smell like the fusion? They smell similar to the fusion paints um, in the old packaging. I don't know if they remodeled them because I think they brought out new packaging. And I love the fusion paints. If you are like an OG here, you know that I love the fusion paints. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm hoping you guys will have some sort of help for me because this is ugly duckling colors and really they need to stay I, I kind of use them maybe they could go up because the stuff that's up there probably could be gone through or option F would be I have one of the acrylic plastic um, holders <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. I just came in and I was like, I need to talk to them about this. So I have one of those plastic things. Do I need another? And then I could keep stuff down here. Cause down here, my clients can see it. And like the polished bottles, especially, they can see the tops and they can see what colors they're looking at. I don't know, pop it down below. I'm gonna ask my Instagram as well. We'll just compile all the information. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. You too. Okay, so. Uh, 
we are gonna find we're gonna find a place to park where we can people watch and eat at the same time. So my first impression on the meatless chicken nuggets, I don't know what they officially call them. My first impression is they really smell like chicken nuggets. Like really smell like chicken nuggets. It's actually crazy how much they smell like chicken nuggets. Spot. Okay. So we are literally in a cluster here of gas station, Walmart, um, salon, liquor store, and I'm going to slide over here. Slide over here. Hopefully you guys don't slide off the dash. People are going everywhere. You know, there's tourists now. It's a new thing. So I'm parked a little crooked. And it doesn't matter. All right, okay. First of all, diet A and W. I hope you can hear me over the traffic. I have got to leave the windows down. Um, it is definitely gonna thunder. I don't know if I can like, I don't know if you guys can really tell by that, but it's hella dark. I know it doesn't really look it in the screen. So we're gonna eat and head right home because Miss Molly is at home. And I don't know if she's by herself. I don't know if Neil's home or not. So let's do it. Huh. Fries are fresh and hot. They offer honey as a dipping sauce, which I love because I use honey at home for a dipping sauce. Woo, I should have worn sunscreen. Um. So yeah, I got honey and sweet and sour because sometimes I like honey with fries too. So we're gonna try sweet and sour first. I mean, you can get a six pack or a 10 pack of nuggets. I got the six. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're good. I have no idea what they're made out of. I know that they're ridiculously processed. So this isn't something that I would eat all the time. I am not a 100% vegetarian. I'm like a 90% vegetarian, but I feel better when I'm not eating a bunch of meat. I also feel better when I'm not eating a bunch of processed, so I don't in any way think that these are like better than regular chicken. <laughs> these are just an alternative. People pulled in beside me and like raped beside me in an empty parking lot and um, had all their windows down and so did I and I was talking to a camera and then I got weird so I shut it off. I'm certainly not ready to vlog in public yet. I literally cut my fries short, bagged them up and I'm heading off because the sky, which you probably still can't tell, is getting crazy black it's starting to rumble thunder molly's home alone so we are i think she's home alone i'm not sure anyway we need to go home to make sure that molly's not home alone and i just want to go home so final thoughts on the meatless chicken nuggets from AW are that they were good with the sweet and sour they were great with honey um but that's my preference i really love the honey if you haven't tried honey with your fries and chicken chicken nuggets chicken whatever um do it if you like honey do it because it's really good but the pop couldn't have been more flat which is fine because i to be honest probably wasn't going to drink very much of it anyway so doesn't really matter to me um although i think some people people that like pop 
would have been probably not very happy with that. So we are going to just jump on the highway. I really hope that this isn't going to be too shaky for you guys. I can try to stabilize it some in the editing. But now having the camera in the car makes me realize that the YouTuber that I follow, that Nicole, <laughs> I can't say her last name. I'll try to put it on the screen. I'm sure you guys follow her. She has like a gazillion followers. Um, please don't fall, please don't fall. You didn't fall, okay. Um, Nicole uh, Guerrero, but I don't know. Anyway, she does car chronicles or whatever. I see why. I definitely see why. It's so much easier to talk to the camera when you're distracted, essentially. So, I don't even know if I told you this, but it's 1.30 on a Saturday. I went to work this morning at 6.30, so I'm just getting done. I work every third Saturday, which is like where the evening clients went that I don't do anymore because I just, I don't have it in me to work every night late like I used to. I used to work every night until at least seven, sometimes eight or nine, um, and that's with coming in at eight or nine in the and it was too much. It was way too much. Let's go this way. Um, I have a couple of different choices of how I can get home, and it just depends on the day what I do. But yeah, so that's what I did. I work every third Saturday. Sometimes I push it to a fourth Saturday, just depending, like it's summer, right? And depending on uh, if it's a holiday weekend or whatever, but rarely, really. I think it was only once this summer that I had a few clients going away on whatever Saturday weekend it was, and they, you know, two or three out of the five of them decided that they would be better off to wait four weeks, and I just moved it. Everybody was fine. Everything was fine. It really worked out, so. Um, I really challenge you if you want to do, if you're doing like every Saturday or every other and you want to cut it back, especially if you're just doing nails because, you know, fills are generally every three weeks, then it's been great. I've, I've really liked the every three weeks. Not only that, but every three weeks you have like kind of a little boost in your weekly income, so to speak. It's really funny though, the third week the Saturday week ends up being on my busy week. So I bust my ass all week and then I have to work on Saturday. But actually that momentum is great. It keeps me going, it's fine. So I'm heading out the 95, which would be the US 95, the I-95. Um, but I am still in Canada, but I do live on the border. So we turn off of our like number two main highway onto the there's not a thing on it except for bears and deer and moose and the odd car, which keeps me slowed down, so that's fine. Um, during the pandemic, there was no cars out here whatsoever because the border was shut down um, other than, you know, commercial traffic. So there was no traffic out here unless you lived where I live. I just can't even get over how dark the sky is getting right now. And I know, like, I don't want to reach for the camera to turn you around, but just know, it's getting dark. It's getting real dark. And I noticed when I was sitting eating, that's part of the reason why I took off, I was sitting eating and it was hot, so hot, like so hot, and the sun was still shining. And then all of a sudden, the air that was coming in was no longer 40 degrees, it was 30 degrees. And like all the birds that were around, the crows were freaking out, you know, you got a little chill from the wind and I was like, mm, yeah, shit's going down, I need to go home. So here I am, going home. So I got the unbelievable gels, I told you guys that, I didn't get to them. I just didn't get to them. I wanted, I really wanted to stay and do it this afternoon, but I needed something to eat. I had been there since 6.30, hadn't eaten since breakfast, so, and I knew, like on a well, what was a beautiful Saturday if I leave? I'm like, let's be real, I'm not coming back. Um, there's a weather warning flashing on my phone, which is funny because usually I don't have service out here, but. Oh, that was a bird feather on the road, just like kicked up and like 
kind of rolled in front of me. That's kind of cool. I hope the bird still has the rest of his feathers. We are on the highway. Yeah. Dudes. Oh, it's starting to pour. As if you guys need a play-by-play -play on the weather. But this is kind of fun. Driving and filming. I'm liking this. And you guys wanted more real-life content? Here we are, real-life content. Real-life, real-life dog hair. Dirty. Dash. I can't keep it clean. I could. I could keep it clean. I just don't. So this afternoon, not sure what's going to happen. I was thinking I would sit on the deck, but probably not. Unless I go out there with my umbrella. Ah, I should have moved my chair though. It's going to get wet. I'm going to have nowhere to sit. Um, I would like to read my book. Okay. I would like to read my book. I would like to straighten my office up or get my office situated. I feel like I've been saying that forever. But now, now that I have you guys at home with me, because normally I don't bring my camera home, I might do it. I may be more inclined to do it. So we've just gotten off the highway at literally the last off stop before the end of the world. You can, you can actually see how much brighter it is over here than it is over here. It's kind of funny. I don't know if you can hear the rain. Maybe a little. I can read a book. I can watch something. I can watch YouTube. I haven't watched YouTube all week. I can arrange my office. Or I can sleep. I could really go for a nap right now. Oh, and I want to go for a run tonight. Like, I really want to go for a run tonight. I didn't go last night, and I wanted to, but by the time I ate, I didn't eat much all day, and that was my own fault. I ate animal crackers and grapes, right? Weird mixture, but I found these organic animal crackers, and I really wanted to try them. P.S. They're good. But, so when I did eat, when I got home and ate my supper, I got a headache, of course. So... Oh, I hate this intersection. It's a weird intersection. It's a four-way. Not a four-way stop, but it's a four-way intersection. But it's crooked. It's not straight, so it's weird. It has this weird angle to it. So I feel like you're really on a standoff with whoever you're sitting looking at. Okay, I'm going to shut you guys off. I'm almost home. I'll see you in a bit.